So if you you know if you look this look this into two or three categories, right? One is is there an expectation from the government that they will reduce the tax rate, or they will provide more incentives? Uh, government may have a wiggle room because the tax collection have been fairly robust. If you just look at the direct tax collection, year on year growth is close to 20%. Uh, uh, on the six monthly basis, the government is ahead of its target already. Uh, there is a bit of wiggle room, but the tax rates are already fairly competitive when it comes to uh, you know manufacturing company uh, a service company is today taxed at 25% what the government can however do is try and broad base the tax base right uh, which can be done in two or three ways one if they can provide this incentive to not only existing manufacturing company but they also cover the new capacity addition which happens in a old manufacturing company so that uh, private sector has the incentive to invest more and more or in the manufacturing space and that's also the mission of the government trying to sort of encourage the make in india uh, program right that's one way to look at it the other is uh, the private sector does does expect to have some sort of uh, advanced tax policy around the consolidation of their tax losses right so it's right time probably for the government to think if they can introduce a group consolidation uh, tax regime right this allows some of the businesses to absorb their tax losses much faster than they would do in the ordinary course if i talk about the infrastructure sector alone uh, one of the key ask of the sector would be to try and have a lower tax cost for the long term borrowings there is a law currently prevalent which says the withholding tax on the interest paid on the long term borrowing would be 5% but that has a sunset in june 2023 uh, it's quite important that government looks at that and extends that sunset by another 4 or 5 years that will allow much more uh, flow of the capital for the long term infrastructure development